in years to come. And one time I had a problem with Idahosa. Well, Robert came to Ghana after the crusade, and when he went, he put it in one of his magazines that action was for Idahosa. And I wrote to Robert and told him, action is not for Idahosa, it's for me. So he sent the letter to Idahosa. And Idahosa sent for me to come, and I refused to go. So he wrote me a letter and said, now that you have come of age, and you don't have respect for fathers anymore, I take all my coverings, my hands off you, the Lord be with you. I took the letter, I tore it, and I bent in as oh, forget it. Pride. The Bible said thy heart was lifted up because of your beauty. Your heart was lifted up because of your giftings, your money, your success, your mega building, and the number of services you run, and how much money you have in your bank account, and the buildings you bought, and the houses you have, and the cars, and the people who come to your church. Your heart was lifted up, and you have forgotten the hands that was laid upon you to impart grace upon you. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. My heart was lifted up. At that time, there was no charismatic church in town. Dr. Otavila didn't come. Dark as in can. There was nobody. I was the, I was the moon tia in town. Mm. And God said, hey, you have arrived? Okay. I will show you I'm God. I've learned humility. Me, I've learned humility eh, by many things. And the Bible said, he learned obedience through the many things he suffered, though he was a son. And one month after that, mm, national security picked me up. I was under investigation for two years. And the guy who picked me, you know what he said? He said, well, we've been giving instruction a long time to pick you up. But every time we attempt to pick you up, something stopped us. But a month ago, it was like nothing stood our way. So we had to come for you. And I said, aha. Assemble by baby. Those of you who speak English, you don't understand. It's tongues. You need interpretation of tongues. <laughs> that was the beginning of my sorrows. I sent people to plead and intercede. You won't listen. And I heard one day he was in London. I came here. And I found him and I threw myself on the floor. And I said, mercy. 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 Somebody scream, say, mercy, mercy. Listen, listen. Those of you who are very arrogant and proud, eh, and your heart is lifted up because you are gifted, you are anointed. You have 100,000 people coming to your church Sunday morning. You are loaded. You are loaded. You can eat anything you want to eat, buy anything you want to buy. You run 20 services on Sunday morning. You are the biggest thing in town. So your heart is lifted up. Be careful. Because the anointing of Lucifer is looking for you. And listen to what he said. Listen to what he said. He said, Satan, this is between me and my son. Stay out of it. And he said, go back. When I went back, Tuesday night, I was praying. And the Holy Ghost said, they are coming for you. Tomorrow at 8.30 p.m., resist the arrest. If you don't resist it, you'll see Jesus. <laughs> Michael McCann was speaking for me on Wednesday. <clears throat> Wednesday night. 8.30 on the door. <clears throat> Security came and said, there are some people from... National security here, they are looking for you. I said, bring them in. They came in and said, we have instruction to bring you. And I said, I reported today. Why should I come back today? They said, we don't know, but we are asked. We were told to bring you in. And I said, I'm not going. 
And the gentleman said, what did he say? He said, this is revolution. I said, I know it's revolution. And I said, in the name of Jesus, I'm not dying today or tomorrow. And I said, you were given instruction to pick me up for assassination and it's not happening. They look at each other. And then they said, excuse me. They went and talked to them, to each other, came back, made some calls. And then they said, report tomorrow at 10 without fail. I said, I'll be there. That night, we held an all night. And whilst we're praying, the Spirit said, when you go tomorrow, before the panel begin, their investigation, request for prayer. So I went. And when I sat before the panel, I said, can I please pray before we begin? I said, fine, go ahead. And something came upon me. I felt the oil. And I said, oh Lord, thou art my judge and my lawgiver. Let not men sit in judgment over your anointed. And I said, set Satan on their right hand. And yea, when they are judged, let them be guilty. And I began to invoke Psalm 109. And by the time I finished, the man said, this is not fair. We are just doing our job. And they said, go sit outside. I was there for three hours with Bishop Benanum. And they came back and said, go, we'll call you. And that was it. I was never called again. You know what Idahosa said? Idahosa said what? Satan, this is between me and my son. Stay out of it. You see? Because the accuser, who is a prosecutor, had evidence to prosecute me. And the old man took the evidence out of the way. When he took the evidence out of the way, the enemy could not exact on me anymore. 